welcome to Fish to See. We're halfway down to the beach, heading to the Outer Banks. We left at four o'clock, stopped here in Nashville, North Carolina. We've got some breakfast at Hardy's, got some fuel at Sheets. $125 for 22 gallons of diesel fuel. We're gonna continue on. Hopefully it can be down there by about 11.30. Doggy break. We're gonna keep rolling. Been up to TWS to get our license and what in the world am I doing? Let's keep redoing stuff. Wow. Look at the boats out there. I don't think anybody's fishing. We're gonna get our bait and head down to Redamp Beachfront. Maybe we'll catch some fish, so we'll see you probably at the beachfront. Well, we just made it down here, but our house is not gonna be available until later. So we kind of packed where we could come out and surf fish while we wait on the house to be ready. That way they don't lose a whole day waiting around on a house because 
the way they're cleaning them these days you can actually be like five o'clock before it's ready so it's like one something now we'll hang out here to fish a while on the surf see how it goes surf fish for a while didn't catch nothing surf fishing water's pretty cold so we're gonna try to go out here and grab a sand flea see if we can get some bait for tomorrow for sheep's head fishing so we're gonna grab some sand fleas and hopefully uh maybe come back out here after we eat a little bit and see if there's any fishing out here to be done this is what we got to work with this northeast you really messed with the beach that they had up here last week really eroded it see what we can do Catch some sand fleas. That looks like sand fleas too, don't you? So come out here and hunt sand fleas. Uh, I you can hear me, the wind is terrible right now. But the water is extremely cold and it's a low tide. Not really ideal conditions for looking for these sand fleas. We're not seeing the huge schools of them we used to see it. Which at high tide there may be some here in the big schools. But biggest point of advice I can give whenever you're looking for samples is to buy a quality sample rate because we bought a cheap one when we first started and it bent up within the first hour of using it. It was bent in half. Uh, we bought this one, paid a little bit more for it, and it's still it's been working for a couple years now. We've been it yet. So, high quality, but sturdy. And also, you can see up and down the beach, there's these little shorebirds. Now, shorebirds, they like the sand fleas. If you're having trouble finding them, they're out right there. You can watch where they're at. They'll kind of lead you to them sometimes because they're falling in school. Most of the time, you can look down the surf as the wave recedes. You'll see ripples where everything else is smooth. And whenever you see that, good indicator is a school sample. Now we're not seeing that because you can see down through there. It's just smooth all the way down. So we're just having to go at random looking for the uh, random fleas. And this is cold water. And they're deep. They're extremely deep when it's cold. This Usually cold. they're right on the surface. So but you're really having to dig down into it to we're going find to, them. We're going to keep at it with the rake for a few minutes, but we was catching them pretty good with just our hands a minute ago. And it might be a lot less effort to catch them with our hands than it is with this rake. So we're going to see how that goes. We'll try another shot with a rake right here where these shorebirds are. Oh, wow. This 
light gallery. I called him. I called him. I escaped. Unfortunately, you get a quite a bit of shells doing that too, but okay. We'll pick through this all. We'll throw out little clams and stuff like that. But the ghost sheep said fish, you got three or four people doing it, you have to start out your day with it. I recommend at least a half a gallon bag of sand fleas of average yeah. size. I would say of these size, this is not a typical size we catch, but we'll probably start out our day with a gallon of them this size. So sometimes it takes a minute. To I catch go through them quick. You'll have to, you'll catch about one sheep's head for every six or seven sand fleas on a good day. <laughs> oh, what? I was getting so look at the fish. <laughs> 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 my toe! Oh, wow, I was like, what's that thing, Sheep? There's one. Ew, fill up it. Fill up it. Oh, yeah. It's nasty. It's, uh, once this molted the shell, it's it soft. It is so soft. Hey, there's another one. Yeah. We didn't get this done quicker if we had help. I know, we're out here doing this for everybody and they're just sitting in the house. I have um, Chris from Middle Tree Outdoors out there in front of the thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> we do it because we love you. I reckon. And because we want to catch a fish. We'll go ahead and say, we've caught our bait. We're, <laughs> when y'all gonna go catch yours? <laughs> Pretty. So we got a bag of sand fleas here. We tried to get some smaller ones than the big ones that we got for fishing. Brian says they taste better when they're littler. But uh, I'm gonna dump them out here in a bowl and Kind of try to get all the sand off of them. So, see, if we got a bowl of sand fleece here. There is a couple big, bigger ones in there, but I think he likes to try to eat about this size right here. Just take some water. They really got a lot of sand in them, so let them soak. You can kind of. You don't lose them here. Kind of filter them. Run some water through them. And then you let them sit. And then here in a minute, we'll fry them up. So prepping the sand fleas, we got one egg, some milk, and we're gonna make an egg wash here. Do a little mix in it. and drain these. It's practically impossible to get all the sand out, but I mean, do the best you can. Got 
Jackson. Let's see here. House of Altry Seafood. Brighter mix. We got our bowl of sand fleas all breaded up and ready to be fried. Got hot oil here. I'm gonna start off with some of the bigger ones here. most of the bigger ones. Try to fry the same size, you know, at the same time. That's good for now here. Drop them down. So when they get nice and brown, we dump them out. Put your next batch in. These are a little bit smaller. What are you looking for? We're frying them up. Getting ready to taste this. A uh, little sand flea. Mm. Just like soft shell crab. That size is perfect to do. This size right here. It's like popcorn. It don't taste like popcorn shrimp, about the size of popcorn shrimp. But this is our first video in an Outer Banks series that's going to be spread out through our normal content. We got several sheep's head videos. We're going to be doing black sea bass. We're going to see what we get into while we're down here. Stick around with us. Thanks for watching. And like and subscribe. Wave.